Hi everybody! I'm here to do a chakra cleansing healing meditation, guided meditation, um, to show you what stones to use for the uh, cleansing of the heart chakra, which is also known as the Anahata chakra. Um, that's the word they use in the Hindu language. And it has to do with the heart. The colors that we use obviously are green and pink to heal the heart chakra. And the heart chakra, it deals with trust and love, releasing emotionally suppressed traumas, um, has to do with heart consciousness, and expressing love, receiving love, and self-love. Now, in my other uh, videos, I will or have discussed um, how crystals uh, generate, store, and give off electromagnetic energy and depending on how those atoms are arranged and depending on the colors of the crystals. They give off a certain light wave or a certain electromagnetic energy. Um, each crystal has its own particular energy which vibrates at a certain level and each chakra has its own particular energy which I'm going to discuss in just a minute that vibrates at its own certain level. So we choose a crystal that vibrates at the same frequency as that chakra in order to heal that chakra. Um, to get that specific healing effects on the mind, the body, and the spirit. Okay, so the crystals that I've chosen here for the heart chakra, well, first of all, um, scents, uh, rose and lang lang are good scents for the heart chakra. Okay, and I chose here, this one is prinite. Here we have bloodstone, two different types of bloodstone. I'm not sure if you can see it. This one has the red specks in it. This one does not. Um, tree agate. You see that foliated appearance. Kind of looks like there's a tree growing in the stone, which is why they call it that. This is a very rare, different type of jade, not the usual jade you see. Two different variations of aventurine, which is a type of quartz with mica inclusions in it which is what gives it that sparkly appearance. Um, peridot, just in chip form here. And you'll notice most of these are green. All the green stones have a very calming effect. Um, you'll know in science um, it has been noted that the color green promotes calmness. And so that's what we want to help heal the heart chakra. Then I have two um, variations of rose quartz. This is the tumbled stone, and this is a piece of rough rose quartz as it looks coming right out of the ground. It hasn't been cut or faceted in any way, and it hasn't been tumbled. So this is what rose quartz looks like rough and raw. Very, very beautiful stone, especially with the light shining through it. Okay, so we can take one of these stones. We can take a selection of these stones. I wouldn't do more than three. You can choose one stone and surround it with four quartz points, single terminated quartz points, which would really intensify the effects and lay them right on the heart chakra, which is right where you think it would be, center of the sternum, right in the center of the body, located at the same level as your heart would be. Okay, the scent you can use, you can put this on the stone. You can anoint a candle and do it before. Okay, so as I was saying, you could anoint a candle with the scent. Um, this for me is rose. I'm going to be using rose or lang lang. Or you can get a candle that has that scent infused in it, or of course incense, or you could um, make your own incense. But anyway, I'm getting off topic here. Okay, so I wanted to get back to. Um, the chakras, just for a moment to explain, because I don't think I've explained that yet, um, where the idea of chakras came from. Um, again, the Hindus came up with the ideas of chakras, that there were chakras, main, seven main chakras, and other possible smaller ones located throughout the body. And this is where, well, let me back up a little bit. Um, this is uh, from a book called the Complementary Encyclopedia of Complementary Health and it just briefly on this page on page 15 goes over why acupuncture and chakra chakras healings and things like that work. Um, the Chinese a long time ago came up with the concept of qi some pronounce it qi um, which is 
can be described as the energy or vital energy or life force which drives every cell in your body which lives in every object including stones and crystals and um, so every object has this flow of chi or energy um, and modern researchers have described it in terms of electromagnetic energy and we've spoken about that um, so chi flows around the body in invisible channels known as meridians and there are 12 main meridians and this this map shows where they are and where those meridians crisscross in the body is where your chakras the seven main chakras are located okay so wherever those sh um, areas are is where we view the chakras the Hindus came up with the concept of the chakras before they even knew about this so kind of an idea of common knowledge coming together here. Um, when chi flows freely through the meridians, the body is balanced and healthy, but if the energy becomes blocked in some way or weakened, which can be from things in excess, you know how they always say everything in moderation, doing anything in excess can cause blockages, um, can cause disease, or doing something not enough, like not enough healthy food, not enough exercise, um, too much of something, too much work, too much exercise, too much stress, um, too much uh, radiation from watching too much TV, um, too much cold, too much heat, um, can cause blockages and problems in the meridians and in the chakras. So that's where this whole concept of balancing and healing the chakras come from. Okay, now back over here to my laptop to show you the prescribed meditation for the heart chakra. Now this one from Secret Meditations again is here but for some reason this one's only three minutes. Not sure why they didn't spend as much time on the heart chakra as they do on the others but I'll put a link to this um, and I'll post the title and author of that book that I just showed you over on this side and um, again this meditation ends very abruptly at the end so do a proper initiation to your meditation and do a proper um, finishing to the meditation remember to ah, okay sorry so as I was saying it's going to end abruptly so make sure you count yourself down out of alpha or out of your meditative state properly um, spend some time going into the meditative state and then do the proper chakra cleansing and spend some time coming out of it. And again, if you would like to download the full meditation, you can go to secretmeditations.com, which their information is right there. Okay, um, happy meditating, uh, heal your chakras, lots of love and light.